When you hear Raspberry Pi, you likely think about something you eat. But this is about a new computer, one that only costs $35. You might ask yourself, what can you do with a $35 computer? Well, these Framingham residents met up to share some of their ideas. So my name's Mike. I'm an unemployed software engineer and web developer. I'm here because the Raspberry Pi is a pretty amazing piece of technology. I mean, it's eminently affordable. It's, you know, we're talking $35 for what's essentially a fully functional computer. According to RaspberryPi.org, the idea behind a tiny and cheap computer for kids came in 2006, when Evan Upton, Rob Mullins, Jack Lang, and Alan Mycroft, based at the University of Cambridge's computer laboratory, became concerned about the year-on-year -year decline in the numbers and skill levels of A-level students applying to learn computer science. The Raspberry Pi Foundation is a UK registered charity, originally thought to sell up to 100,000 of these computers. Since introducing the Model B three years ago, it has sold over 1.3 million computers. The design of the Raspberry Pi is based on a system on a chip, or SOC, which is what powers smartphones. Everything that a computer needs, RAM, I.O., video, is all on a single chip. The board features HDMI video, analog sound, analog TV video, two USB connections, and a network connection. In addition to that, there is a set of general purpose input-output pins that can be used for anything from sensors to lights. And because the chip was intended for smartphones, it only consumes 1 to 2 watts of power. Makerspace in Framingham hosted this Raspberry Pi meetup in hopes that it would start a local venue for Pi enthusiasts to meet on a regular basis and swap ideas. This is, um, you know, kind of part of uh, what we're trying to do is start a makerspace in Framingham. And this is kind of one of the activities we're trying to do to get that going. The idea here is, um, if you're not familiar with makerspaces, is it's to create an area where we are a place where we have artists and technology people uh, create a community, have shared tools, in metal shop, wood shop, electronic stuff, art stuff, all in one place, uh, in a space, a community where we get artists and, and technology people together and just see what we can do. And really enabling people to do things that they couldn't do at home or otherwise. So, you know, again, access to equipment, a space, training on how to use the equipment, and a community that supports and lets them, um, you know, do do things that they really couldn't do and learn new things. It also exposes people kind of as a, a byproduct. Um, you know, you have all sorts of tech people that are exposed to art and vice versa. Um, you know, this creates some really interesting dynamics about, you know, uh, really technology infused art. Um, and it really brings a, a different side and exposes a lot of people um, on the technical side to things that they wouldn't otherwise be exposed to. For more information about Framingham Makerspace, send them an email at framingham.makerspace at gmail.com or check out their Facebook page at facebook.com slash framingham.makerspace. For the Framingham Beat, I'm Mike Cunningham.